once you've peeled back the onion, your job is to now build the cost of inaction. Okay, the cost of inaction. You need a metric to anchor to. Peeling back the onion to the core in that first step does not always lead to a metric, but it usually does. So in the event that it doesn't, you still need to dig and find a metric so that you can justify the purchase, but more importantly, open your customer's eyes to the cost of doing nothing, which starts with finding a metric that is suffering as a result of the problem you're solving so that now you can start to quantify it. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story as an example to this one, then I'll give you a word for word question that once again, you can just still, no patent pending on this, you can take these for free. So a few weeks ago, uh, this was in October, I was negotiating a $50,000 SaaS deal with a first time head of sales. And he wanted to move forward, but he wanted a better price. And so here's the conversation we had together that led to me winning the deal, building a cost of inaction and keeping my price. And of course, selling to VPs of sales is always fun. He says, I can sign now if you drop it to 40 grand. He wanted 10 grand off. Um, otherwise, we'll wait until January. And when in doubt, you ask a question. You say, why wait until January? <laughs> And he says, that's when hiring ramps up. We're only making one more AE hire between now and December 31st. Keep in mind, I sell hiring software. But I'll bite the bullet and start now if you can lock in that price, right? He's negotiating with me. So I wanted a Q4 deal, but there's no way in hell I was going to give him $10,000 off a $50,000 deal. So I said, let's talk about this. Can I ask you a few questions about your annual model? And he goes, of course. I said, how many reps are you hiring in your January hiring class? Keep in mind, we're back in October. He says 10. And you go, then I say, how long is it going to take you to ramp those reps? And what are they worth when they ramp? How much revenue are they producing when they're fully ramped? He says, it takes us about four months. So by the time we get to April, each rep's going to be producing around $40,000 in ARR, assuming we make the right hires. Before that, it's not much. They'll see a couple bluebirds, but you know, just here and there. So I said, so if you're one month late on these hires, and that January class of 10 turns into a February class of 10, 10 times $40,000 fully ramped reps, that's 400 grand knocked off a, <laughs> your annual plan a year from now uh, if you delay your hiring class until February. So he knows exactly what I'm doing. That's why I love selling the sales leaders. He goes, I see where you're going with this. And I said, how long does it take you to hire 10 reps? He goes, probably two months. Remember, we're back in October. And I said, given we're in October, it feels like we're right on time to make good on that 10 rep class in January. I know you want $10,000 off and I respect you for asking, but it feels like waiting until January is going to be far, far more expensive than paying an extra $10,000. We're talking about $400,000 in lost revenue if you miss your hiring class even by one month. And so <laughs> he was a colorful character. He eventually gave in, uh, quote unquote, gave in. It was you know a win-win deal all around. But there's a couple lessons on this one. I skipped a couple from the slide, but the main one is the cost of inaction drives your timeline, right? Not getting a discount by December 31st. So the goal is to find a metric and start reverse engineering the cost because customers probably are not thinking about what I just made this guy aware of. Okay, so it's your job to bring the hot or to bring the horse to water and have them drink the water. So <clears throat> here's how to start that sequence. This is the word for word question that you can swipe immediately. What metric is suffering as a result of that? Okay, sometimes when you ask a discovery question or a rediscovery question, if you're trying to inject some extra urgency into your Q4 deals, sometimes customers share problems that are painful, but they don't, they're not very measurable, they're intangible, okay? And so anytime you hear that, you hear pain, it's not measurable, you don't know where to go, ask your customer what metric is suffering as a result of that problem. Okay, they're going to tell you a metric. If they don't, now you get to have the conversation of who does know that, and that starts to open the door to access to power.